All right, so I have some questions here to ask my buddy about the Black Lives Matter movements. Do you want to use your name or not? I didn't even ask. Uh, nah, I'm good. Okay, cool. I'm Seth Williams. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> um, <laughs> here's what the thing is. is Man, all right. It's kind of sitting over here as a white guy. Um, there's some questions that we ask going like, wait a minute, what the hell is going on? And honestly trying to get a perspective here that I can't have. Yeah. And I think, well, you're from not... <laughs> I'm from Georgia, so yeah. Yeah, you're from Georgia, so that gives a very unique perspective considering everything that's happened there. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot. Things are happening much more quickly there than here yeah. in Alabama because we ain't hell, we, we just chilling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, um, yeah. So the first question is, what does Black Lives Matter stand for? Not like the Black BLM, like Black uh -huh. Lives Matters. We we know what that means, but what does it mean in values, principles, in your opinion? Like, what is it that you're trying to convey to everyone? Or if you could convey something to everyone, what would it be? Well. What I think, in my own opinion, of what Black Lives Matter means, it means that our lives matter too, as Black people. That we're not second-class citizens and below citizens. We are actually citizens, and we need to be treated as such. So the Black Lives Matters movement came from the police brutality and the negligence of us being citizens. Because if you're a citizen of this country, you got laws that protect you, and if somebody breaks these laws then they are supposed to be punished for mm -hmm. breaking these laws, not just pat on the back, go home, or get relocated, or get fired. You kill somebody, and you get to just get out of jail free card. That's not good. That's not, that's not, that's not the move. And you told me you've seen this happen personally, yeah. like, um, conversations previously, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. like, that ain't right. Yeah. And you can't treat, in this country, it is, we are all equal. Yeah. We are all human. We are all, and if there is an injustice going on, then I'll understand the statement, Black yeah. Lives Matter. From a white guy sitting over here, we want like, hell, we here. <laughs> kids, now, wait a minute. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're not saying that. Sure, yeah. we're, not saying, we're not saying that. Black, you know, no, white lives don't matter because the, 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 it was Black Lives Matter. But it's like this is a situation that's really going on, and it's really attacking Black people specifically. And like Martin Luther King said, "An injustice to anybody is an injustice to everybody." Exactly. So this injustice is really going on in the Black community, and cops are attacking the Black community. Not all cops. Not saying all cops are bad or whatever, but there are a lot of bad seeds that's making the whole organization rotten. Yeah, and I mean, there's some bad, look, man, there's yeah. some bad preachers. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there's some bad women that don't mean all women bad. Yeah. <laughs> there's some real bad women. <laughs> so, you know, in every profession, in every, if you get a group of people, hell, there's some bad ones. Yeah. But in this case, they're, from what I've been told here, there is a considerable number of injustices happening and there is no recourse and that's some bullshit. Yeah, that's so I feel you on that. Yeah. Um, so what is the goal of the movement? The goal of the mu movement, specifically right now, is police reform. The police need retraining. They need to have a whole new way of doing things and having the community and not have this us versus them mentality, but we are a part of the community as well. We are a part of those people as well. So it's not us versus them. It's how do we keep peace versus how do we imprison people? How do we attack people? How do we go about our job as peace officers, not... For, to protect the yeah, serve. For, yeah, that's not really, tyrants. That's really their job, right? Yeah, that's their job. <laughs> protect and, and serve. And I can see in some cases how that's... <laughs> like, <laughs> you get pulled over by the police and you know the police hold it you know had a hand on the gun and it's like 
Oh, you yeah. know, this is just a regular traffic stop. You know what's going on. You know, uh, license registration. Um, okay, here you go. Get out of the car. You mind telling me what I did wrong? I'm not trying to be an asshole about this. I'm actually trying to figure out what I've done wrong. But you get thrown in jail and all this other stuff, and you don't even know what you've done wrong. Man, I watched my mom get out of the car one time, walked straight out of the police officer, and I went, oh, shit. And he, like, he pulled his gun. I'm going, like, mom, get back in the fucking car. Get yeah. Gun. She was trying to get to church. <laughs> like, trying to go to church. I pulled over, try, and I'm going, like, oh, my God. What is she doing? Like, yeah. <laughs> like it was funny, but <laughs> anyway, my man. <laughs> like, it was just. Yeah. She got back in the car. She said, he pulled his gun. I said, hell yeah, he pulled his damn yeah. gun. You were walking at him like he was a <laughs> damn. And he was short or some shit. Like, <laughs> hell. My mom got an attitude anyway. <laughs> All right. So, um, who's the leader? I mean, to honestly, Black Lives Matter doesn't have a leader because the way the organization was, you know, you have the people that founded the organization. But Black Lives Matter doesn't really have a leader. This situation popped up because of the consistent, the consistency of the police brutality, the consistency of what's been going on in this country, the consistency of black people dying and their killers are literally found in trial and just get out of jail free card. And so, of course, you see this over and over and over and over and over again, eventually you're going to have an explosion like this. And so, yeah, you have founders, but you don't have a leader. Okay. But now the whole world is in an uproar. And they're like, you know what? Black lives matter. We need to do something about this. And so good, it's a group of time. people. So it's a, yeah. So it's a group of people, or pretty much the whole world, is saying, we're part of Black Lives Matter because we got to do something about this. Black lives do matter. Yeah. But, but, but we matter too. Everybody no. matters. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the looting, violence, is that a representation of Black Lives Matter, of who that movement is? Or does that represent the community of, like, if we were to put, black, like, the people mm. in a community, is that who they are? Is that who Black Lives Matter is? It's like, because that's the shit we see on TV. And we're going like, whoa. No, nah, that's not who Black Lives Matter is. You have a situation that's been going on for years and years and years and years. And you are tired of seeing that situation. And you went about it every way possible to try to change that situation. You went about it peacefully. You went about it by marching and protesting and everything else. And every time, you know, and everybody doesn't want to hear your voice. Nobody wants to hear you. Now, a Starbucks gets a window broken in. The police, you know, a Starbucks gets a window broken in. Oh, my goodness. What happened? Why did they break the window? The cops are killing them. Oh, my goodness. That's horrible. So now you got attention on that situation. And think about what it took to actually get that one police officer to be trialed and thrown in prison for killing that guy. They literally had to burn down the police precinct to get this one officer trialed and going to jail for killing a black man. Mm -hmm. And they already had an excuse ready. The district attorney, yeah, uh, we see all the, you know, yeah, that was a tragedy what happened to that guy, but I don't see any crime, so I can't charge him. They had to get rid of that district attorney and get a whole nother district attorney to trial this man and put him in jail. And this is a guy who just killed a man and was already about to get get away with it. Let's say, I don't know. And it took, situation. yeah, and it took them to burn down a police precinct just to get the guy to go to jail. See, and when know. they, yeah. Well, I mean, it, well, was that okay? To burn down a police precinct? Well, I'm going to ask you a question with a question. You know, because a lot of times I feel like there's a disconnect when it comes down to different, you know, to our groups. And we got to understand that we all are connected as human beings. Yeah. So someone just kills your brother. You have a really, really big family. And they get off, you know, they are, you already know they're going to get off, get off a murder. 
Y'all are gonna see that person. Oh. Yeah. You don't see that person. Yeah, y'all gonna see right. that person. It ain't <laughs> it's not yeah. So now my brother's man shot and he deserved that shit. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> But y'all gonna go y'all gonna go see that person. Kid and, gonna, and it may not be no worse. It may not be pretty. It, you know. And so person killed your brother's a cop now. You have a really, really big family. Mm -hmm. I mean like really, really big. Like but and you got the whole community, is, and now hold on, think about it like this: they just killed your brother. Mm -hmm. He's your family. Yeah. Does the fact that he wears a badge change the difference that the fact that he just murdered your brother? It depends on what my brother did. It depends on what I your know brother my did. Brother. Yeah. <laughs> you know your brother, yeah. Um, but let's just say this: and um, does that make it a race issue? It doesn't make it make more like an attention issue. Yeah. I'm trying to get your attention. Yeah. yeah, and basically, what you know, and I kind of, um, <laughs> kind of went off topic, but yeah, yeah, I know, I, yeah, but um, but the burning the precinct, it took all of that just to get one man to go to jail for what he was supposed to go to jail for. If yeah. you kill somebody, you're supposed to go to jail. If that person has not done, he's a, you know, the person that killed the guy was a cop, right? Mm -hmm. The guy was unarmed. He was handcuffed. And there was no way he could fight back. Yeah, that's true. And this person literally put their knee on this man's neck, and his dying words was crying out for his dead mom. I can show you a yeah. dude they did the same thing to, and nobody got charged. And yeah, that's not okay either. Yeah, but like I said, it's not you know. Yeah, black lives matter, but injustice to anyone is injustice to everyone. But this happens eighty percent of the time in the black community. And 20% of the time over here, this is a rarity over here. Mm -hmm. This is almost everything day over here. And so something has to be done about this. So now it's not a quiet situation where people just boycott and protest. Now something has to happen. And that's why the rioting and the looting is happening because it's like, it's, a, it's an explosion okay. of years and years of frustration and pent up aggression. So no. But this is not being your own community doesn't really get the message out. It yeah. Or it may get the wrong message out. So mm -hmm. that does that represent the movement or is that just some rogue fuckers going out there and fucking shit up? It's more like I said, it's more of a you know It would seem it's more like a temper tantrum or something that, you know, how do I explain? It? It's more like opportunistic is what opportunistic. I'm saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> You have rogue people that's doing it. You have, you know, you have opportunists, but it's more so like something has to be done about this. Yeah. And the overall goal is not to yeah. go, you yeah, know, yeah. Like that. But the overall goal is police reform. Right. Okay. Now, let's see. Do you think that the black community has been set up? by the media to cause chaos as a distraction from whatever the hell is going on. <laughs> it's a possibility, but I wouldn't go too far to say that because Maybe a partial. It's, yeah, it's it's possible. Yeah, the media is gonna you know, it's the next big thing. The media gets, you know, money off of views and everything else. And so yeah, the media is gonna leads, think, it leads. That's, yeah, that's yeah, something like yeah. hell. But and it's hard, but it is a but it is a real <laughs> issue, you know. But it's you know more or less it is still a real issue. And they've had more attention paid up to the media than they've had for a long time. Yeah. COVID nineteen, and they had everybody's attention. Yeah. And um, I like from the perspective of over here looking, I'm going like, mm -hmm. oh damn, like okay, if y'all keep showing that dude die, they gonna. Fuck shit up. <laughs> like, I'm going like, man, like, yeah. I'd be pissed too, but damn, y'all showing it again. And, yeah. you know, I mean, like, yeah. they showed my brother getting killed over and over. Like, my man, fuck, all that shit wears on you. Yeah. Um, and I agree with you on that one. It, I would be blind to not see that, like, damn. Yeah. The coverage was amazing. Yeah. But the movement is massive too, yeah. and that's cool. Um, to me, that is a unity that can be 
you just, but this ain't my opinion, this is your opinion. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. How does this end, best case scenario? Like, what is the end game if it all works out perfectly? If it all works out perfectly, we'll have a police reform that's not targeting people just because of the color of their skin or their race, but more so dealing with actual real issues and real crimes, not just petty petty scenarios and stuff like that. Getting the real criminals off the streets, getting the real stuff handled versus just petty crimes like, based off of skin. Like, for example, um, I'm gonna give you an example of that. Um, there's a video on Facebook and YouTube about a guy who was riding a bike and the police arrested the guy because he didn't have a horn on his bike. You gotta have an oh shit, I'm in trouble. It, yeah, <laughs> you know you, you know you riding, you know your son is riding his bike. You know he doesn't have a car, but he doesn't have a horn on the bike. So the police arrest him and then compensate the bike, all because the bike doesn't have a horn. You get arrested for jaywalking. Mm. Jaywalking is not that serious of a crime where you need to serve about a year or two years in jail or somebody getting shot for stealing a lollipop out of a store, a 50 cent lollipop, but you didn't took this person's life. It's like, now I agree the, um, I agree that people should not be stealing. I agree with that. You know, we all agree with that. Stealing a lollipop. Yeah, but, but what the, 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 um, if it, would that in, if we're looking at end game. Yeah. The punishment needs to justify the crime. And that's what, um, and right now it's just not that way. And so I believe that, honestly and truthfully, me personally, I believe that the whole system needs to be torn down and rebuilt up in a more just way. Okay, so what about the quotas, like with the police? Would that be part of ending that aspect? Yes, most definitely. You got to, um, because that's yeah, important. Yes, most, most definitely. Um, if you force police officers to go out here and arrest people for just any and everything, and they got to go, you know, and they got to make this certain quota, mm -hmm. they're going to do it. That's their job. Oh, yeah. That their job is no longer and enforce the law, it's more so get as many people as jail as possible for anything and everything. And so if you end that quota stuff, if you destroy the quotas and all this other stuff, now the police are not out here just going out there trying to get petty crimes. Now the police can actually do their job in police. Yeah. Or way, serve and protect. Yeah. Crime, then you get them, but if they're not, then cool. Yeah. And if, like maybe this month people ain't breaking yeah. the law and shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But police, you know, but police reform, I think, would be best for the whole entire country. So that way, like I said, injustice to anybody is injustice to everybody. Agree. Um, do you think that this agenda has been set by Black Lives Matters or those in power? And why do you think the agenda would be set by either one? Like, for instance, do you think that the agenda being we are going to march for the police reform or do you think that the agenda of the media is going look at what's going on and to tear apart me and you uh, yeah i can both play into that actually but and i hope that's not the case like nobody wants that on any either or anybody's side we you know we're all citizens of the same country. We can all live in this country in peace and happiness and tranquility. We can all have a good quality of life. And nobody and I don't, wants to hurt Yeah, nobody, nobody wants to hurt nobody. <laughs> Everybody wants to just live a good quality of life and know that when they send their kids outside, that their kids are going to come home. And yeah, we just want to raise our kids and the government to leave us the fuck alone. That's, like, that's pretty much yeah, universal. Yeah, like, universal. You know, like, just yeah. let me do my thing. If I ain't hurting nobody, leave me yeah. the hell alone. If, like, breaking, if I'm not breaking no laws, if I'm not doing anything wrong, yeah. then just leave me alone. Let don't me, fuck with me. <laughs> I can agree I can with 100 that. I 100% agree. Huh? With, 
<laughs> with yeah. talking to people from all over the world, that's what I see is most people just want to be left alone to do what they do the way they do it. And they don't want anything more than that. If you'll let me be free and do my shit, we cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. And that's from sitting over here from white guy perspective, I see the media keep trying to tear me and you apart and I'm going like wait a minute that you keep putting this narrative that Black Lives Matter is going to completely destroy this town and that's what we see we see looting we see um, tearing down statues and we see nothing being built and that it looks like Black folks are trying to start this race war, and I'm going like, I know black people. They ain't trying to start that. <laughs> what the fuck? I sit back and just go, what the fuck is going on? Because that shit don't make no sense. My buddies ain't trying to do no shit like that. Well, I mean, I'm gonna give you a, give you a scenario. Yeah, the media's gonna point that paint that picture, but they're not gonna tell you how many white people and how many people all over the world are supporting Black Lives Matter and just saying, look, we just want to police reform and we want to stop being targeted. That's just yeah. it. And it's like, if you just give them that, well, they would no everything, yeah. It'd be like, <laughs> all right, build some statues for Black Lives Matter, you know, build some, you know, build some statues of blacks and whites holding hands and hugging and get Probably rid of all this, you know, then it's okay. You know, this stuff will die down. Eventually, one brick at a time, we will build and we will build a better country. We will build, you know, one brick at a time. We will get rid of all this hatred and we'll be up to live in peace together. And, well, <laughs> I, I do this all day. <laughs> so, um, could there be insurgents in the Black Lives Matters movements that could be instigating issues to screw with the movement? Of course, all the time. Always, oh, always that. All the time. Maybe it's a thing of age. That's yeah. something that I was enlightened to, and I went, "What?" Mm -hmm. yeah, and it, like age. these guys are talking to one of the senators or something over there. Like this lady comes up with her gun, and a white lady, and I'm going like, "Oh shit!" Like this don't look good. But she comes up, and they start talking, and these guys are going, oh, "We didn't." We didn't break that shit over there. That ain't the movement. We don't do shit like that. And I'm going like, I got, a, I got a question for you. And I hate mm -hmm. to say it like this because it's, it's kind of messed up. Um, messed up. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna kind of mess your head up. Um, Black Lives Matter have a movement. You found out that a white guy burned down the uh, police station. Um, guy who gets shot in Atlanta. You found out a white girl puts on a hoodie and burns down the Wendy's. You, you know, found out a white girl painted Black Lives Matter on a Starbucks. And so I'm not saying this, I'm not saying it's a race issue or this, that, and third, but the movement is so, you know, you know, so everybody is focused on, oh, black, 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 black. But the truth is, you have these insurgents. You have these people that's going to go white out of their way. White people have gave me more shit <laughs> over Black Lives Matter than black people have. I yeah. swear to God, so I, I, just, I'm going like, that, wait a minute, you gonna turn me over to who? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's so I feel you, like Yeah. And that why? Because they wanted Trying to paint to the, picture the picture that Black Lives Matter is just a group of animals that are just ravishly just just destroying stuff for no apparent reason with no, no goal I in think mind. These white people are savage as fuck. Well like they want the movement so damn bad they're willing to break shit and I'm going like well, they got the money rebuilt. They crazy. <laughs> like, it, makes, it makes me wonder about, I'm going like, damn, now I know I'm kind of crazy, but damn. Yeah. If, um, I, <laughs> like, if, I, if I got the paintbrush, I can paint any picture I want. And the movement is all about just getting police reform, just getting making sure that black kids and black people can go to work, do their thing, and come back home without being harassed and killed over just privileged dumb stuff for and no damn reason. Yeah, King, so everybody like, just wants to live in peace and it's just like And then you got to no, you can't shit down right here. I'm going <laughs> yeah, oh, no, you can't live in peace because 
Uh, see, look at what you're destroying. Look at black people kill black people. Well, when a black person kills a black person, he goes to jail if he gets caught. <laughs> and that's an aspect I never really thought of. I was like, hell, now nah, wait a minute. Y'all, if you got black people killing black people, and then like this one white cop over here kills black people, like what the fuck? But you're right. If he get if the white if the white cop gets away, now we got problems. Yeah, that's injustice. Um, the law is not protecting its citizens and what we're you know so black lives matter is trying to say we're citizens too no. and we need to be protected by the law as well as just like any other citizen of that country but if we were to find out that just as many white cops are killing white folks or black cops were killing white people that were unarmed as vice versa would it matter yeah yeah because injustice to anybody is injustice yeah. to everybody so yeah. Okay, so we're still like yeah. Okay, we're, so there's no you know so what a lot of people get so you know, human lives matter. Yeah, human lives <laughs> matter. So what a lot of people are getting <laughs> is you know what a lot of people are getting offended by is the name Black Lives Matter. Yeah, we don't because we're not saying whole lives matter, but we're right. saying Black Lives Matter. Can, but it's just like can I just make a statement? Go ahead, go ahead. You can be offended and be fucking wrong still. <laughs> like, that shit is on my nerves. Just because somebody gets butt hurt don't mean they're right. Yeah. And sometimes, no, a lot of times, these things get off into, well, that's offensive. Well, nobody gives a fuck. Did somebody get hurt? Now we got a problem. Yeah. If you get physically hurt, if you have an injustice there, great. But now we can't be pushing the hurt my feelings shit because yeah. now everybody's feelings going to get fucked up because yeah. I don't give a fuck about some yeah. feelings. But I do care about your family, yeah. your well-being, and mine being equal. Like, we're cool. As long as we have equal opportunity, yeah. I'm good. Um, now, equal opportunity is not the same as equality and results and that's a whole different thing um thing here but those were the main questions i think most yeah. people are really looking for and um, i do want to um add something to that yeah. you're right that equal opportunities does not mean equality for all but equal opportunities mean that we all have the possibility of having equality and so it's like but when you take that Look, when you take that opportunity away from everybody, you know, when you take that opportunity away from somebody, then you have inequality. I learned equal e equal opportunity a long time ago whenever I went to my dad and I said, Dad, I'm about to be 16. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a man. <laughs> right. But I need a car. And he said, you don't need a car. You need to provide the community with a service. Mm-hmm. My dad taught me what business was when he said, Seth, go mow the neighbor's yard, ask him for 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. You do that enough times, you get a car. I have washed my neighbor's cars, asked him for money, because that's what business is, is service to others yeah. leads to greatness. And the more people I can serve, the better I become. And that is equal opportunity. We all have the opportunity mm -hmm. to go serve someone else. That's all I want. You give me that, and I'll do some cool shit. <laughs> I um, agree with you. Huh? That is, to me, is equal opportunity. Yeah. Um, now, is there going to be some injustice? Now, I bet if I walk up in the ghetto and try to start washing cars, some shit going to go down. They're going to look at me kind of weird. Like, what the fuck is he doing touching my car? So, <laughs> man, that, I have to use my brain whenever I'm going forward with equal opportunity. I got the opportunity to get my ass whooped too. And I know that. Um <laughs> You know, I just actually my, my mind just went, you know, to a goofy place. I was like, Mom, there's a white guy washing your car. Shoot. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> don't pay him. Just don't pay him. <laughs> That's that white guilt. Let him go. <laughs> <laughs> Part of reparations. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, they finally. <laughs> oh my god. But anyway, those are really. Yeah, we should get a bottle of water though. 
Mm-hmm. At least you get a bottle of water, though. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Give him some water. We can't let him. We can't let him pass out out there. It depends on if I was using your water hose or not. Yeah, that's like, what. Actually, I might. I yeah. probably didn't bring my own water. Like you yeah. used to use. <laughs> that's whenever you find me in your fence, and that shit gets real fun. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but seriously, my dad told me, he said, go mow the neighbor's yard, then ask them for money. Mm-hmm. You already done with a job. They feel like they got to give you something. Yeah. <laughs> That's entrepreneurship. And you can take that to bad places, too. We mm-hmm. talked about that earlier. Yeah. <laughs> I took that and ran with it. I was a little ambitious. But I like if last thing, if we were to lose freedom here where do we go that's a good question and that's not an answer that anybody can really give you because with what it usually happens when you lose freedom anarchy happens or yeah anarchy happens from communism yeah or socialism yeah. which is the step in between capitalism and communism but freedom being I have the opportunity to do whatever yeah. without injustice happening. And if there is an injustice happening on that end, mm. I agree. That has to be corrected. I agree with you on that. So anyway, I just wanted to get an opinion that is not mine because I'll be on my YouTube channel talking all kind of trash waiting <laughs> on somebody to come. And thank you, by the way. No problem. Because if we can sit here and agree, there is not this big divide. Mm-hmm. Like, we're all people. We're all human. And we all want yeah. the same thing. It's our government that keeps fucking us all. <laughs> <laughs> like, God's honest truth Government was evil from the jump. They've never been worthy of trust, nor should we. This whole country was founded on negative and limitations on government and freedom for us. Yeah. And anytime they impose their will upon us, we must push back. Yeah. That's a prerequisite in the Constitution. That's why the Second Amendment exists. If you ever start screwing with the first, that second one's there to protect the first. And in that, I understand what happened in Georgia. Yeah. Because that's your right to get guns and march. Because if you can't talk and you can't get the word out, Mm. then there is the second to protect that one. Yeah, true. And that's the way the founders set it up so that we could keep our freedom. Because if you ever tell, just like Martin Luther King, so if you tell everybody the truth, They'll fight for it. That's true. They will stand up and go, you know what? Um, that shit will stop now. Right. And that's all yeah. that anybody could really want. How do you stop a united force? Exactly. Well, the media, how do they be fucking shit yeah, you up? Got, all the time? <laughs> you got the whole world backing up this united force, you're going to have change. Exactly. And that's basically what's going on now. You see changes, little changes throughout the country. Some people defunded their police department. I don't think that was probably the right thing, but some people have gotten rid of that whole police department and put a whole new police department in. But you see changes based off of... It'd be cool to see what happens. Yeah, you see... <laughs> <laughs> I'll sit back and watch. <laughs> you, see, you see changes going throughout this country, and police reform is starting to happen little by little. But I will agree to this. Um, what I honestly believe needs to happen right now, just to kind of get the ball rolling, is police need to be retrained. Okay. So, who does the train? Because that's where, that's kind of like everybody needs to go to school. And I go, but wait a minute. Who's teaching the school? Because... If government is evil off the jump, we don't yeah. want them training everybody. No. That starts to get, and we could get, that's a whole nother conversation. Yeah. God's honest truth. We yeah. go on for days and days. But I think that was really the just of everything that most people are asking. Well, like, wait a minute, what the hell? Mm-hmm. So maybe we can do another one 
whenever you're free. Okay, that's what's like. Up. Heck, man, I'll do this once a week if you want to. We can start a <laughs> damn podcast for all I care. You feel so exceptional. Yeah, like, and I would shake your hand, but I ain't gonna use your name. <laughs> but new song, it's not coming.